So this is the synth cart uh, for the Atari VCS. Uh, as you can see, on, on this screen it's black and white. That's just to do with my TV. Uh, it, it's, it's normally in quite nice colour. And uh, you get, uh, you need two of these keyboard controllers that play notes. Although they're, they're not always the obvious notes that you'd expect. And uh, there's various options to do that. Uh, you get uh, different sounds. So that's the, the lead sound it's saying there. Bass version of it. Um, this is a sawtooth. And finally, uh, most dramatically, Pitfall. So if I go back to, I think, lead there. Um, and then, uh, as you can see on the right hand controller, it, it says it's playing Beatbox, and that would uh, give you these. And uh, it's kind of polyphonic. So lots of kind of jamming you could do with that. Uh, the best thing, uh, the, there are other options. I mean, there's, there's loads of screens full of options here. What I'm going to try and do is get one of those beats in synchronization now. So let's see if that... Maybe the bass one, um, or pitfall. Yeah, that, that's that, that's that, that's got a bit of kind of power to it. And so, if I bring the drums back, So uh, there's uh, there's loads of other options. There's um, manual that comes with it, and uh, that's got kind of little diagrams. And I'm also throwing in this um, highly liquid uh, MIDI connector, or MIDI kind of interface with the with the with the connector cables that it needs. Um, that's much more difficult to get to work, and I'm I'm not even sure if the um, if the VCS is is fast enough to. Uh, to process MIDI notes in a in a useful fashion, but um, you know, at least at least you've got these controllers for for playing it live. I'll bring that. Where's that beat gone? Yeah. 